Uh, mine is nowhere near as traumatic or dramatic, but uh, I guess more of a sign of the times. So this is back in the day. I might have been 10 or 11. And this is predating comic book stores or like at least when when I was going to them because that was a bit like a special trip. We'd be going to like Dragon Lady or Silver Snail or something like that, which was downtown. And I ironically lived in, in North York as well, too which is, I guess, a city above Toronto, which is now part of the GTA. And um, I went to a store called Becker's, which was a neighborhood variety store. <laughs> oh, Becker's. Becker's. So if any, any, you know, anyone from the six who's listening to this and um, remembers those, like Max Milk, which I guess in Quebec is Couchetard still. But, um, and I think there's a Becker's or two kicking around uh, in the city, but it's an old variety store. And I... It was a great cover of, I think it was Captain America 241. And it was uh, the Punisher versus uh, Captain America. And it's a pretty iconic cover, I think drawn by Frank Miller. And he's standing on Cap Shield and has his gun pointed at Cap. And it, in Canada, the oh. prices were a little bit different. So this was a 40 cent comic. And I paid for it with 40 pennies. So I went to the, went to the counter and I dropped my 40, my 40 pennies on the on the counter, and you hear all the clank, 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 as it, they spin around. And let's just say the dude at the counter was less than impressed. And I go, <laughs> I go, you you could count it. And he was like, ah, get out of here, kid. And so he let me, he, obviously I bought it, but yeah, it was, and I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't shortchange him, no pun intended. I gave him 40 pennies, but you know, I don't think he enjoyed counting at all. Yeah, to buy a comic with pennies. Uh, I'm a little bit nowadays younger. You, you'd have to drop nowadays. You'd have to drop five hundred and fifty pennies. 